Okay, we're here to talk about the Colorado Rockies VHS video of their birth of the team. And you know, I was really, I was amazed, really, truly amazed at how old this tape was that I had. And the, and the fact that I found it. Out here in Rhode Island, it's impossible to find stuff like this. There's only two situations I can think of where this VHS would turn up at a Goodwill. Someone went on vacation, brought the VH, VHS home and watched it here, or they lived in Denver, or somewhere in the Rocky Mountains, or in anywhere in the region, within the several states, and they um, and they uh, sent it back. I'm not sent it back. They took it back when they moved here or something. There's not many scenarios where this would pop up in a local store. Um. <sighs> You know, it, the, the, it was kind of short. It did say 32 minutes. It lasted 42 minutes on the um, video. Um, I wasn't going to complain about that. I knew this was going to be short. I mean, they don't. when it comes to a film like this, they don't make them more than a half an hour. I got a old Larry Bird tape I might ch try out tonight. That's about a half an hour. You wish they would make them at least an hour. You can't really get much out of a half hour of video footage or even 42 minutes. But there's nothing we can do about that. They tried to explain what happened. You see, the, what was so boring about this, I would say, if it wasn't Rockies, I wouldn't have bought it. What was so boring about this whole VHS tape was the fact they really only talked about who they drafted and all that, and they didn't, they didn't get a chance to... Maybe they should have did another video for another hour, like, um, explain what happened after the, the draft and all that when they had their teams made and see how good they did. Because the Rockies weren't a very good team when they started. And they, I'd say, out of sheer luck, made it to the World Series in 2007. Um, this is a very good tape to watch, though. And um, for a half an hour, what it is, what's kind of funny is, is that eBay, a lot of people think because something's a VHS and it's sealed, that's worth a lot of money. Most of them, I have to say 99%, yeah, probably 99% of them, since there's so many out there, they're all crap. They list this for about 17 bucks sealed. No one's going to pay that. And then there's other ones that is 8 9 bucks used. And then there's 5 or 6 bucks or whatever it is. Just buy the cheapest one you can find. Another thing I was surprised about was the quality. The quality was piss poor. That's right. It wasn't very good. But the tape wasn't damaged in any way. It was just... It's been around for almost... Well over... Um, well, now that I think about it, what, 92, so two, yeah, it's been about 30 years this tape has been around, um, or whatever it is. It's been around a long time, no lines in the film or anything. Although it did look very, very dated, there wasn't any damage to the tape at all, which I was really surprised, because it did look old from the outside when you looked at those plastic things inside that reel the film, but everything played perfectly fine. Uh... That's all I gotta say. I didn't even know this existed until I looked at it the other day. Um, I'm actually surprised. Um, you know, they talked about attendance. It's so funny how the attendance was so good at Mile High Stadium in the beginning and how look at now at Coors Field. Attendance is not good at all. And they never address the problem. They just keep doing the same thing every year. What do you expect? Put on some more things. The Rockies do put on some nice things for them, for the kids and stuff. But, you know... They're going to give the adults a reason to go besides selling them beer at overpriced prices. All right. That's it. And I've been to Coors Field, so I know what it's like there. All right. Bye-bye.